My name is uh, Martin Klaas and then, uh, welcome to another edition of uh, Light Talk. I'm uh, currently in uh, Karatha. Uh, apologies if there's a bit of noise in the background, there's some uh, background music. I'm at the poolside of the Ibis Styles Hotel. Uh, and later on I'll be going to the Karatha International Hotel. Two projects that we have uh, secured in um, Karatha. And I'm currently here on a site audit, uh, site inspection to assess the current situation of uh, lighting <coughs> and um, just look at uh, what uh, possible options we have to improve the lighting. Uh, these two hotels are part of the portfolio of my client uh, with several hotels through Western Australia and uh, we've been engaged to uh, see how we can improve the mood and ambience uh, in all those hotels. Uh, it's the experience, I mean a lot of you know, those people who have traveled in, in Western Australia know that a lot of hotels are very basic. Just a simple ceiling light, um, there's a mixture here and there of um, just whatever can be found in the local uh, lighting shop. So the quality is not fantastic. Um, there's a mix and match of uh, different uh, color temperatures. Um, it's very functional, uh, it's not really mood based. Um, the lighting that you can see is uh, typically <coughs> um, just a, a, a you know, bulkhead on the wall. Uh, you may be able to see some in the background uh, or uh, a simple uh, glary spot uh, to light up the space. But people don't ask too much, they're not used too much either. So I think uh, the scope for us to uh, recommend some uh, good lighting um, for uh, the future upgrades of these hotels uh, I think is uh, quite abundant. Uh, the landscaping is quite nice and I think uh, that will need to, uh, to get quite some attention. Um, specifically uh, on arrival, that experience is uh, quite important uh, to straight away get a feeling of, uh, you know, that you're, you have arrived at your destination. There are quite some high palm trees. Um, the weather can be quite um, different. Um, this area is quite well known for cyclones, so uh, it's quite important to make sure that whatever we do is uh, climate resistant, cyclone resi resistant. Um, and also easy in the maintenance. Um, you know, the typical switches here, just a couple of switches on the wall, um, very, very basic. But uh, the client have, uh, has given uh, directions that uh, they really want to move this up a, a notch in terms of uh, sophistication. So um, I think um, I'll have a big challenge in trying to find a balance between reaching that level of sophistication, but still keeping it simple and being very mindful uh, of the budget. Just a couple of shots of uh, what I'm uh, looking at. Uh, this is just uh, the pool side with the <coughs> all day dining in the background and the function rooms in the back of the pool. In fact, the pool sometimes is going to use be used as a breakout. And on the right here, there's a space which I want to con convert into a pool bar. So this is the arrival experience. You drive in from the road. There's another function space here and then you have a drop off here. There used to be a canopy, but apparently that was blown out during one of the previous cyclones. So that's no longer covered anymore. But uh, you walk up here, uh, you can see the pool in the background. And then uh, this is the arrival to uh, the reception. <coughs> this is the reception space. With our lovely receptionist out there. And then uh, this is how we step into uh, the all day dining. Currently not in use, they're generally closed between lunchtime and dinner time. One of the things you can see is that some of the lights are flickering. Um, lights are generally quite airy. And uh, this is how it looks like. <coughs> There's some uh, mood and ambience. The all day dining. Quick walk, so from uh, what somebody typically would walk from the reception or the restaurant uh, to their rooms. There's quite some work going on, as you can see here. Uh, actually, I should probably cross over. I should have actually walked over there, but they're renovating some rooms already. It's quite a country feel, I have to say. Uh, most of the people that come here are 
FIFO workers, business people, there's some family. Uh, families coming here, some couples, but it's mostly for business. But it's quite constant. So I can go here. Got some further rooms over there. Um, at present, there is uh, basically no landscape lighting. It's quite bare, so they're going to do a bit more in terms of uh, landscape lighting. And as you can see, most of the lighting is all like bulkheads. Uh, that's it. At night, it's uh, pretty glary. I've done my first round, uh, just doing the exteriors and the interiors during the day. And uh, this evening, I'll do um, the Ibis Hotel. Hybrid styles at night to see uh, how that uh, looks like and how that feels. And tomorrow I'll be doing the um, <coughs> Karate International Hotel, which is just uh, further down the road. So um, that's it for me for now. Um, and uh, stay tuned for uh, stage two, which will be talking about uh, the Karate International Hotel.